So oh, this is the old guy, and uh, <clears throat> uh, we're in the dead middle of high summer. Uh, it's supposed to be 85 to 90 degrees today. Finally, all the torrential deluge of rain we've been experiencing for days and days, it's finally stopped. A lot of flooding, flash floods. But what I came to talk about is midsummer madness, midsummer night streams, like from a, a I think it's Shakespeare plays. And uh, when midsummer hits and school is out and people are on vacation and out of work or, uh, and, and there's a lot of partying going on, a lot of drinking and drugging, a lot of uh, stuff happens in Midsummer, according to Shakespeare. You know, in Midsummer Night's Dream, all the, it, these, in your dreams, all of this stuff comes up from the subconscious. And it's well documented in psychoanalytical circles for many, many years that, you know, people who see ghosts or aliens or monsters or on the positive side unicorns pink elephants uh, all kinds of stuff fairies uh, and stuff like that from like midsummer nights it's all surfacing of contents of the subconscious and and this can happen in groups also. Way back, a long time ago, in Still River in midsummer, very hot, very dry, very nothing to do. Still, a lot of there was a lot of baby boomers were young teenagers and te young adults back then, and uh, it was the cruising days, you know, the middle of 60s, hot cars, muscle cars. GTOs, Camaros came out, uh, Corvettes, and you name it, 442s and Centuries, and, and Plymouth Chargers, and all of that, and all the teenage, everybody had hot cars, muscle cars, they call them now, and uh, they'd be peeling out and hanging out these drive-ins across town, and uh, cruising up and down the streets in their convertibles. But when things got really hot and still in midsummer, this contents of subconscious would surface in groups and people would see things and hear things. And there was this thing called the East Lake Monster. This went on for like almost three or four weeks. It was in a it was in the Still River paper news almost every day. There's this reservoir northeast of Still River. Somebody spotted these blinking lights. They were, they were really like lights, you know, you would see in construction uh, sites on the side of the road that were on saw horses that would blink yellow and had a big battery on the bottom. They would see those around the side of the lake and uh, people started doing hoaxes like making loud noises on the other side, like howling, uh, leaving like dead animals around and, and uh, starting rumors to get excitement going. It got to a point where there was cars parked along the causeway. There was like this damn causeway every night. There was hot dog trucks, people in their lawn chairs, and sightings would happen. One guy took a pot shot at it. And a couple kids put two lights out on a board and floated it out on a river, on the lake, I mean. And this would go on and on and on, you know. This is the kind of stuff would happen in the old days. When things got really tight and close in, in the dead of midsummer. So, beware of seeing aliens and unicorns and, and stories of UFOs and... and strange things going on, you know it's the dead of middle summer in Still River. <laughs>